My name is Christopher Detloff, and I'm going to be talking about the balking pattern. All right, uh, let's get into it. So what is the balking pattern? It's to return control immediately with appropriate indication if an object is invoked when it is not in an appropriate state to execute the method. So when that happens, this object will either throw an exception, uh, log an error, or it will balk. So to explain that easier, it's kind of like, so if you call uh, some sort of object and something else needs to happen in the program before you can call that object, then the object will balk. So some terms that I think are important to know, balking, that means unwilling to accept, which is essentially what the entire pattern is about, and an anti-pattern, which is a design pattern that is used but is ineffective or counterproductive. And you'll see why that term is important a little bit later on. So why do we use this design pattern? Uh, it's used for objects that are only in a state of balking for a temporary but unknown amount of time. And the unknown part is important because there are better methods that you could use if you knew how long you needed to wait before you can instantiate a certain object. So some negatives about this. Uh, again, it's not recommended to use when an object is known to balk for... A known amount of time. Um, it is also an anti-pattern, and that's why I defined that term earlier. It's it essentially slows down your program, uh, which is why you don't really want to use it. And it is also sensitive to timing. So when do you want to use this design pattern? Uh, you want to use this when you need to invoke an action on an object, but only when in a particular state. And you also want to use it when the object is in a state that is prone to balking temporary again, but for an unknown amount of time. So for my little test program that I made, I have, I've made a class runner. Uh, this runner has a speed and it has an initial state, which is sitting. Um, and it has some, some actions that it'll perform. So it'll rest, the runner will rest, the runner will start running and the running runner will stand up and there's also this method which lets like lets the program know when the action is complete and i also made a uh, test class to demonstrate that let me show you here so here are the four states that the runner can be in sitting standing running and resting and then the initial state sitting initial speed zero so the the first method stand up uh it's essentially just changing the state to standing and it prints out, uh, you stood up. Uh, the running method, uh, so to make sure only one instance of this is running, I synchronized. And um, so if the state is equal to sitting, uh, you obviously can't run while you're sitting, so this method will bulk. And then after, after it does that, we have, uh, here it'll change the state to running. It'll also increase the speed. Uh, in an interval of five, and then it'll also print out again to the to the console. Uh, we have resting again. Uh, you can't rest while you're standing, so this method will balk if the current state is standing. Um, if it's not, though, it'll change the state to resting, and it will also decrease the speed by, or if the speed is less than five, it'll make it equal to zero, or else it'll decrease it in increments of five. Um, and then there's the action complete method, which will just change the state to running. So here, uh, the test, the test case kind of think of this as having two different runners. So we have the first runner, which will, uh, uh, well, we, so we have the first thread, which uh, I've set up to fail. So this one will try running, but since the initial state is standing, uh, he obviously can't start running. So, and at the same time, we have down here, the second runner is standing up and then he'll start running. And we also have sleeps in between here to allow these uh, to wait on each other. Um, so this one will fail. The runner will then stand up and then he'll start running, which will succeed. Um, and we have another sleep in here. So then this will go back. Uh, and then the runner will start trying to run again, which this one should also succeed because it's no longer balking. And so then we have here, because the runner is running, uh, 
the runner will try or uh, start to rest, which will decrease the speed by five. So here, let me show you the output for this. So as you can see here, fail case one and thread one, you can't start running while you're sitting again because the, the runner did not stand up. Uh, here we have success case one and thread two, uh, you stood up, which uh, is shown right here. Uh, let's see, six, success case one and thread one. So again, now because he's standing up, he's allowed to start running. And then here, slowing down again because he is running. And here are the sources that I used. Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day.